brewing coffee at home is fine, but it only serves me. The moment more people show up to my house, I'm scrambling. Deploying to the cloud is like opening a cafe. Suddenly your Java is available to anyone, anywhere, on this planet, maybe the next, who knows. I'm Ian, and I'm a cloud advocate here at Microsoft. And in this session, we will see how deploying to the cloud takes our apps from personal to global, and we'll see how easy it is. So far in the last video, we modernized our application, we upgraded to Java, fixed dependencies, and migrated our database into Azure, as well as all of our other resources that were previously on AWS. But we're not done yet. The final step that everyone really cares about is actually getting it to the cloud. Traditionally, deployment is one of the most painful parts. You have to provision infrastructure, write YAML files, configure CI, CD, and make sure everything ties together. For many teams, including myself, this is where projects get stuck. That's where the GitHub Copilot app modernization tool really comes into play. Inside VS Code, we can call the deployment workflow. Under the hood, it uses the Azure CLI, AZD, to provision resources and deploy your app. Just like with upgrade and migration, Copilot handles this iteratively. It generates a deployment plan, proposes the Azure resources that are needed, and starts applying them. If something fails, Copilot retries, adapts, and keeps on going until it reaches a successful deployment. So let's go ahead and open up VS Code and get started. Here is the Copilot application that we want to modernize. We'll open up our app modernization tool, go to Tasks, and we see that we have deployment tasks. We can go ahead and click on Provision Infrastructure and Deploy. As soon as we click on that, Copilot immediately starts an agent session. It will scan the full project and then generate an architecture diagram and then a deployment plan, which we can review. We'll give it a moment for it to generate our architecture diagram. All right, so we can see that the architecture diagram was created. Copilot jumped the gun a little bit, and it's continuing to work on the deployment plan, but that's OK. We can still review the architecture diagram. We can cross-check the Copilot agent's understanding of our application. And if we need to, we can use Copilot chat to make any revisions and make any changes. Since Copilot is already continuing, we are good to go. It's already working on creating the deployment plan. Once we have the deployment plan, we will again review it and see if we are ready to jump into the deployment. OK, so here is our deployment plan. The deployment plan is an overarching document that will be the instructions Copilot follows when deploying our application to Azure. We once again get the architecture diagram. We can review and make any changes needed. It gives recommendation for Azure resources that it wants to deploy as well as step-by-step -step instructions that Copilot will follow. So once again, if there are any changes, we can use Copilot chat to make them. But if we're good to go, we can tell chat to continue. And it will start working on deploying our application. Now that we've let Copilot loose, it'll start iterating over the project, deploying our resources. And depending on the complexity of the project, this can take some time. So I won't make you wait here. We'll wait for this fit to finish running, and we'll be back once we have success. All right, we are back. Our deployment was successful. We can open up Azure Portal, and we can see all of our resources were successfully deployed. In addition, we can open up App Service and navigate to our application. We should see that Asset Manager will be up and running. All right, and we will open up our site. Aha, we can see our application is deployed, and it seems like Copilot did some nice UI enhancements. You can see there are some issues, such as the Upload New is a little faded away, but we can even test our application. We'll click on Upload New. We will browse some files. This is a nice graphic that Matt here in the studio made for me earlier yesterday. So we'll upload it. And once it finishes uploading, we should be able to view it in our gallery. OK, here it is. It's in our gallery. So the application is working. 
we can see there are some flaws, but all things considered, given that I literally clicked one button, I am beyond thrilled at what Copilot did for us today in deploying the application. I really love the new Copilot app modernization tool. Using the power of AI, we, we literally get a full team of developers just one click away. An otherwise complicated process is now streamlined using the power of AI. And in just a single afternoon, we have modernized, migrated, and deployed our application to Azure. I took a few coffee breaks myself in between, and Copilot worked for me. I now pass the baton over to you to try Microsoft's new Copilot app modernization tool for Java. If you would like to find supporting content resources and the code we used, you can find them at aka.ms forward slash Java and AI for beginners. It's also linked in the description of this video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.